Desiccant dehumidifiers don't convert water vapour that's in the air into a liquid. What they do is absorb water vapour from the air and then they have to remove that and that's done through a humid air outlet. So desiccant dehumidifiers always have what's called a wet exhaust. And we need to process that humidity. So I want to, to talk about a number of different ways that we can do that. In this property it's quite straightforward. We're going to go out through the open window. And that's easy for us. However, you might want to put, fit a fly trap or fly screen through there to prevent the ingress of insects and things like that. But if there wasn't an open window to put this pipe out, where else could we put that? Well, if the kitchen had been stripped out, we could look at the kitchen sink waste pipe because it's the same diameter. So we could simply connect that to the waste pipe and blow the humidity outside through the wall that way. But the kitchen hasn't been stripped out. Okay, what else could we do? Well, if we were in the bathroom, we could do the same. We could put the, the, the outlet into the bath waste, if that's going out through the wall. If the toilet had been removed, we can put the waste pipe in through the stent, into the stench pipe, where the toilet waste would normally go, seal around the pipe with some cloth, so that the humidity then goes into the stench that normally breathes. What if we can't do that? Well, what we could do is take the water out of the toilet bowl and poke the pipe through the toilet bowl through the bend and into the stench and then put some cling film over the top of the toilet. So then the humidity still goes through the stench and the cling film present, prevents smells from coming back into the room. Well what if they haven't got a toilet? In a rare circumstance somebody hasn't got a toilet, okay what can we do? Do they have an air conditioning unit? Well if they have we could put this humid air stream to the air conditioning unit, turn that on and that air conditioning unit will cool the air down which will convert the humidity into a liquid and the air conditioning unit will pump that liquid away. They haven't got an air conditioning unit. Well, have they got an extractor fan somewhere? Most showers have got an extractor fan. Can we put the exhaust against the shower extractor fan and turn that on? Because if we can, then the fan would take that humidity out and it's designed to do that job anyway. They haven't got a bathroom extractor fan. Have they got a kitchen extractor fan? Because if they had a kitchen extractor fan, we could do the same. The kitchen extractor fan is designed to remove humidity. So we could take this pipe, put it to the extractor, turn the extractor on, humidity is purged from the building. What else can we do? Well, we could poke this out through the letterbox, the cap flap, any, any area like that. And they haven't got a cap flap. And now we're really starting to struggle for ideas. So if we really needed to, we could take this humidity and push this towards a refrigerant dehumidifier which would then convert it back to a liquid where it could be pumped to a discharge point. It's worth noting that if the dehumidifier is a small capacity and the water leak wasn't really large, as in the case here, there isn't a huge amount of water in there. And we're in a kitchen, and the kitchen itself can deal with humidity. People are cooking, people are boiling potatoes. There's a lot of water normally goes into kitchens and it normally dissipates. Most properties have an ability to dissipate quite a large amount of water. And if you think about towels that are hanging on banisters and showering and everything else like that. So in this particular kitchen, it's quite a big open kitchen. So if we really wanted to, using the smaller dehumidifiers, we could let this exhaust into the kitchen because we're not really talking about a lot of humidity. We could also exhaust it into the hall because there the warmth and, and humidity will go upstairs and naturally dissipate as it would do coming from the kitchen or coming from the shower. If we were using a large capacity dehumidifier and we have a lot of evaporative water, then it would not be a good idea to dis discharge that in the building. That could cause further damage. We should also mention that the length of this exhaust is quite critical. If the exhaust is too long, it builds up a back pressure and it slows the machine down. Also, if the air temperature around the exhaust pipe is cold, condensation starts to gather in the pipe and water could run back down into the dehumidifier. And if we thought that was going to be a problem, we'd really want to do one of two things. Ideally, stop the condensation from gathering. And in the first instance, we would just need to increase the air temperature in the room so the pipe stayed warmer. If we couldn't do that, we then need to insulate the pipe away from that cold air. To do that, all we need is some form of insulator, something basic like bubble wrap packaging is quite adequate to wrap around the pipe, two or three layers, tape it to the pipe, and that makes sure that the pipe stays warm and condensation doesn't gather. If condensation is gathering, perhaps we could put a bend in the pipe, so there's a U, a trap, put a pinhole in there and put a container underneath to collect any condensation that may gather 
so that it doesn't go into the machine and cause the machine any damage. If we needed to, take the, to make the pipe longer, it would be better to move the dehumidifier closer to the exhaust outlet and extend the ducting to the tent rather than extend the exhaust. Thank you.